Instructors are given access to their course approximately two weeks before the start of the term. Students will generally gain access to the course just a few days before the course begins. This gives you an opportunity to prepare your course shell. Whether you're about to start your first course at Brandman or you've been teaching for us for years, you should always follow these three steps to prepare your course. Review, reach out, and revise. First, you'll want to review all course content. The easiest way to do this is to start at the top of the course menu and work your way down. The Start Here button always stays the same, but it's a good idea to review all of the information that's available so you know where to refer students who may need it. Specifically, take time to test the links and make sure all images are loading properly. Next, go to the course information. The content in this area will vary from course to course, but generally you will always find the Instructor Resources folder, a place designated for your picture and bio, and the course syllabus. Notice that the Instructor Resources folder says it is not available. This means that it is not available to students. If you turn Edit Mode off, the folder disappears. Make sure Edit Mode is on if you're having trouble locating this folder. Instructor Resources holds important information that is specific to you, the instructor. We'll come back to this later. Let's go back to Course Information by clicking Course Information in the Course menu or from the folder navigation at the top. Now, I want to draw your attention to the syllabus. This is where your students will download a PDF version of the syllabus. Click this link to test it and make sure it downloads correctly. The same should be done for all of the content and links within the weeks or modules. Read through the material and test all of the links to make sure they take you to the correct website or download the correct documents. As you read through and test the course content, you may have questions about how to approach certain aspects of the course, or you may discover things that may not be working properly. At that point, you'll want to complete the second step in preparing your course and reach out for help. If you have questions about the content of the course that is not related to a technical issue in the Blackboard shell, you'll want to reach out to your course contact or course custodian. If something isn't functioning properly within your course shell, reach out to your school's designated Academic Technology Support Specialist, or AT for short. A list of email addresses and phone numbers for your AT can be found by clicking the question mark icon in the Global Navigation menu. Then click on the Faculty link. The AT contact information will be located towards the middle of the page. Once you've reached out and have resolved any issues you have with your course, it's time for the final step, revising necessary content. Note that most courses will have minimal revisions needed in the course shell. Major revisions to the course must be approved by the course contact. The most common necessary changes include updating the instructor's bio and course information, setting specific due dates for assignments, adding additional resources, and uploading a personal photo or avatar. In course information, make sure you add your bio and a picture in the space provided. For more information on how to edit content, please watch the next video in the series entitled Editing Content. If you find it necessary to make changes in the course and you've received the proper permission from your course contact, you must also update the syllabus to reflect these changes. The editable version of the syllabus is located in Instructor Resources. Download the document by clicking on the link. After you've made the changes, make sure you have it as a PDF so it is not editable by students, and overwrite the previous version in course information. You can do this by clicking the contextual menu next to the link for the previous version and select Overwrite. Browse your computer for the saved PDF version and click Submit. Note, some browsers require you to clear your cache before this overwrite will take effect on your computer, though it will be updated immediately for your students. For more information on this process, see our video on downloading and uploading content. Many instructors may add additional resources in the weekly content areas to supplement reading assignments. For more information on adding new content to your course, view our video titled Creating New Content. Lastly, 
in addition to adding your picture and bio to course information, you should consider uploading an image of yourself as your personal avatar. An avatar in Blackboard is a small image that appears next to your name in various places in the show. For example, your avatar will appear to the left of your name in discussions you've participated in. To add your personal avatar, click on the Global Navigation menu in the top right corner and select Settings. Then click on Personal Information and on the next page select Personalize My Settings. Make sure Use Custom Avatar Image is selected and then click Browse My Computer to locate your image. Note that the recommended pixel size for an avatar is 150 by 150. Larger images should be clipped. When your image is finished uploading, click Submit. To return to your course, click the Global Navigation menu again, then Courses, and your course should appear at the top under Recently Visited. Taking full advantage of the time before your course begins to review course content, reach out with questions or issues, and revising necessary content is very important. It also saves you and your students a lot of headache later. We want our students to have the best user experience possible. The energy you would put into preparing a physical classroom is the same energy you should put into preparing your course shell. And of course, if issues do come up once you've started teaching, the ATs and the CII are always standing by to assist.